Hey, what's going on? Rakeem Madison here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Bing audience ads, and I'm going to be teaching you step by step exactly how to get that done. Now, if you want to learn how to do that, definitely stick with me throughout the rest of this video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will eventually give you. The freedom you deserve all right so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and minimize my camera and we're gonna jump right into it all right so now that my camera is minimized you can see that we're inside of my being ads manager so i kind of want to educate you a little bit on audience ads so before we set it up let me take you over to this page right here all right so this is more like a, a being support page and i just kind of want to give you an idea of what to look forward to so you can see right here, it says Microsoft audience ads are served across the Microsoft audience network. Now, these are the places that, that your ads are going to be showing up on. So you can see right here, ad placements across premium sites like MSN, Outlook, and Microsoft Edge, and as well as other partner sites, and they blend naturally into the consumer's experiences. So let me show you an example of what those looks like. All right, so if I go down here, you're gonna see some examples. So as you can see here, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so you can see it you know, right up front. So you can see this is MSN, and then here is the sponsor. So notice they have the blue around this, just showing you what your ad will look like, right? So if you've ever been on MSN and you've seen these, the, this is what people are doing, okay? So these are ads that look like they actually belong to the website that they're currently on which could be powerful for you if you really learn how to leverage ads like this. Um, and what these are really called are native ads, in other words. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And then here's another example, right? So if you've ever seen this on your phone, this would be another example right here. And then last but not least, once again, they pretty much blend in uh, with the site. So you, you really won't notice unless you just see the little sponsor here. And if you're not like a marketer or anything like that, sometimes you may not even know that that's an ad and you may actually click through it, right? So that's why you can see how this could be powerful if you create ads and you start to position those ads in front of people who actually have a problem. And if that, if that problem, um, if they see something, you know, that interests them, they are going to click through it. All right, so those are the examples of how it looks and just to kind of give you a little bit more data, you can see why they said that you should actually use it. So you can see here, more volume, more clicks, you can increase the amount of conversions. Um, I believe that the conversion thing is probably more along the lines of it's showing up on a site and people believe that it actually belongs to that site. And so that's why I feel like they're saying that it could possibly cre increase your conversions. All right, so another thing, um, let me see here. All right, so this right here, boosted performance, and it's powered by artificial intelligence. So if we just read this, you can see AI and machine learning help guide ad selection and relevancy matching along with the pricing. All right, so it's basically the, the AI is going to do its best to position it in front of the right people, in other words. All right, so right here, you see Microsoft ad audience ads supported by the Microsoft audience network. You can see right here, it says image-based ads, right? And then you see feed-based ads. So the image, you could actually have add an image as you just saw on those particular ads. And we're gonna get ready to uh, actually set this ad up so you can see exactly what you need to do that. All right, so let, let's go back over here to the ads manager. Now let's get into it. So we're gonna go here to campaigns. And then we're going to go as if we're setting up a regular campaign. So I want to click create campaign and we're going to go ahead and roll with visits to my website. And then we're going to go here and we're just going to create a test being campaign. So let's do this test being camp. And then we're going to roll with about, let's just put it at $5 per day. I wouldn't do that anytime. You know, anytime I'm setting up an ad, it's $20 and above, sometimes even $50. Um, you know per day. It just really depends on what you want to do and like where your budget is So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go We're just gonna roll with Canada and United States for sake of time And then we're gonna go to people searching for or viewing pages about this. We don't want people who are in a, a, a Complete different location and they're searching. So that's that's the reason we would actually turn that off All right, and then here English and then we're gonna roll with it 
All right, so now over here, I'm just going to name this test being bulk, right? We'll just roll with that. And let's just say, for instance, my keyword is about uh, car insurance, right? Let's just roll with that. All right, so my that, the, the keyword that I'm looking for is car insurance in this particular case. And we're just going to roll with that keyword for now. So now we're going to hit save and go to next step. Now we're going to go ahead and just create like a little, you know, test ad right here just to kind of speed the process up. All right. So we're going to go with that. Uh, drive safe. No worry. <laughs> um, drive safe. No worry. It might not fit. Okay, that fit. All right. So we're just going to do title part one and title part two. And we're going to stop right there. And then we're going to put in the ad text. We're just going to put car ins let's let's put a best car insurance boom and then in this one i'll just put like a call to action get your services here or get your uh you know we'll just roll with that get your services here all right so um uh, oh yeah another thing we want to do is we're just going to add uh let's just add this in there for now all right so boom we got everything we need and then now what we're going to do is we're going to hit save now, I got one ad on here, and I'm just going to leave that on here for now. Um, and then what we're going to do from here is you can see here it says ad extensions, right? So when, when I click that, you're going to see there's a bunch of different ad extensions that I can add. So if you see here, we got a whole bunch of other ones over here. But the one that we need to set this up is not necessarily showing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up after we set the ad up. All right, so if I hit save and go to next step, let me make sure everything is good up here. Okay, everything is good. And then we're going to hit save and go to next step. Now, right here, you can see this is like a verification to say, okay, is $5 a day really what you want to spend? That's kind of like a confirmation. And then here, I'm just going to go with manual, right, for the bid strategy. And then the ad group bid, we're just going to leave it at a dollar because once again, this is a test ad. And then we're going to go right here where you see it says advanced campaign settings. This is step four. So this is how you're actually going to set up an audience ad and the difference. So right here, you can see right here, the other settings, you can see it says audience ads. We're going to click on audience ads. Now, this is what you want to do. You want to turn, you want to put this percentage at 900%. Because it goes from 100, negative 100, when you decrease it, that's to turn audience ads completely off. And then if you want them on, you increase this by 900%. So what this is doing is, let's go back over to this page right here. This is how your ads are going to show up like this, like native ads that actually appear on MSN, right? Let me actually go back up to the sites so you can see which ones. You can see MSN, Outlook, Microsoft Edge, and as well as other partner sites so that it can actually blend in, right? That This is how you would actually do that. Turn this all the way up to 900%, okay? And then after that, boom, you hit save, and now your ad is under review. Now I'm gonna click X. Now what you wanna do from here is you wanna actually go and find that particular campaign that you just created. All right, so where is that campaign that I just created? Okay, so here we go. So now we wanna click into that campaign and then we wanna go to add extensions. All right, now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for an image extension. All right, so if I go here to view and then I go to image extensions, boom. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create an ad extension. Now this is gonna actually be connected to this particular ad. So when I go here and if I scroll down, I want to go to where it says create new image extension. And then here I want to go ahead and name it. Right. So let's say, for instance, this is my um, let me see. Let me see what I can do. Uh, name display text. Let's just do test being as well. And that'll be the name. And then you can see right here it says description optional. Um, you can put a description there. But once again, it is optional and optional. And also a destination URL is optional. Now, let me tell you a little bit something about the destination URL. You don't have to put anything there. And then it's anytime somebody clicks on the picture, like we saw on the other page over there, anytime somebody clicks on the picture ad, when they click through, they're going to go to the actual ad, uh, the actual landing page that you put for the ad. But 
if somebody actually, if you put a URL here, it's going to go with this URL, even though you have a different URL on the other, uh, on the actual ad. So I just want to kind of uh, let you know that if you put something here, that's what it's going with. So if you wanted it to go to the ad um, URL, then don't put anything in that box. Okay. All right. So we're not going to put nothing. We're just going to keep test Bing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to upload a new image. Now they have, you know, specific sizes. So if you go here, it says, um, 300 by 250, 100 by 75, 300 by 200, and 640 by 360. Okay, and then you can see the the main ones up here. So all you're gonna, we're, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload a picture, and hopefully I have pictures that are the right size. Um, hopefully I do. So let's let's see what we find. All right, so let's just roll with one of my pictures, one of my uh, thumbnails, and then I'm gonna hit open. Okay, boom. So there's the picture. This is what it will look like. Obviously, um, in this case, you can see my picture is sort of big for this. So when you're when you're setting up your audience ad, you want to make sure um, that you know the actual aspect ratios so you can actually have your stuff showing up properly. All right. So from here, we want to go down and you can see right here, it says, see how your images will look in an ad. I click on that and you can see once again, like I said, mine isn't this isn't the right size. Um, for this particular thing. So make sure you get that good to go. And then they're just showing you how your ad will look. All right. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and hit the X and then we're going to go ahead and hit save. All right. Review my images and we're going to use these images and we're going to hit save. It should have saved already. Sorry. We have detected a policy violation. All right. So what we're going to do, um, let me, let me, uh, let me, Let's try to replace the image. Intellectual property. Let's actually see what that says. Right? I know we're you know in mid video, but let's just see exactly what they're talking about. So it says, as an ad advertiser, you are responsible for ensuring that your keywords and ad content uh, do not infringe or violate the intellectual or property of others. All right. So 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 in other words, um. Yeah, and this is what I this is actually what I forgot. So when I was actually doing my research on this, um, whatever your picture is, it has to have a relation to the actual keywords that that you actually are using on your campaign. That's another thing. So make sure whatever picture you're using, it's not uh, you know definitely want to avoid like copyright or anything like that. But make sure the keyword actually has a relation to what the picture is, right? Because then that could be seen as like clickbait. All right, so that's that's essentially what that um, the intellectual property policies is, um, because obviously that that's my thumbnail. So obviously, you know, it wouldn't be like me infringing on anybody. OK, so that is that. Now, let's go back over here. We're going to hit cancel for now because I don't know why it's saying that right now. If you run into those issues as you're creating your ad, um, I'll definitely dive deeper into it on why that's actually happening, because obviously this is my thumbnail. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel on that. But that is how you set up an audience ad and also how you would actually put your picture up there. Now, it's actually pretty, um, you know, I, th I think it was actually a good thing to do this and then actually have that pop up. So if you run into the same issue, no, I'm not, uh, I'm not like perfect when it comes to setting these up, but I really truthfully don't know why why that came up when I just used one of my thumbnails. Maybe it was due to the size um, or it could have been because my keyword wasn't related to my picture at all, right? But of course, I'm going to figure it out because that's just what I do, all right? So that is how you set up an audience ad besides the picture. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful. And you want to learn more about how you know, how to effectively use Bing, um, I left a course down below, right? Definitely check that course out. Um, valuable. I have went through the entire course and it has massive value in there. All right. So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.